Well, no toll booths are taking a toll on commuters trying to make their way across Grand Island. No tolls there. Still backing things up. Live look at the traffic flow along the South Grand Island Bridge. Now you can see traffic is building, but it is more congested as we get further on in the evening. Is it more congested now that the tolls are gone? The numbers really speak for themselves. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan joins us live from the base of the bridge with a closer look. Josh. Hi, it's interesting. Just in the last few minutes since we've been standing here, we've seen the traffic start to back up at the base of the bridge. This is what the Thruway Authority calls a pinch point. Drivers from the 290 Sheridan Drive and River Road are all merging with the high number of drivers on the 190 right here. It's a pinch point because they've got to merge into the two lanes for the Grand Island Bridge. Now, Cashel's tolling came to the bridges back in March, but construction didn't finish until June. The point of that was to fix these traffic problems. The Thruway Authority says it looks at this every day. They admit that the traffic hasn't improved. They say the problem is all about volume. So many cars trying to merge into only two lanes for the bridge. I spoke with Brian Michelle from Lewiston. He's one of the people who helped lead the public campaign to get rid of the toll booths, but he says so far he's been a little disappointed. Here, I think we have something that's a little bit different in that we have two major arteries of traffic merging into two lanes. And I think we're at a good point today to assess the effectiveness of it. Michelle hopes the traffic will improve as drivers get used to the new system. The Thruway Authority hopes that as well, but they have recently repainted some of the lines in the northbound 190 in this section to help make it more clear for drivers. And as I said before, the Thruway Authority says it studies this section every single day. They're still looking for solutions to try and get to that original goal of reducing this congestion altogether. For now, I'm live in the town of Tonawanda. Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.